This is the Bactracospermum algae. It's a red algae that I found on Saturday on our plant hike. I'm trying to get it in focus. It wasn't before. You can see my fingertip to get an idea of the scale. Down here in the middle is where it was attached but we didn't see it attached. We didn't even see it until I got the utricularia. And that's over here in this container. A lot of plants in the way here. Maybe it's in focus if I pull back further. But you can see the, the bladders, the black things here. It's got a nice frilly leaf probably not called a leaf it's probably a stolen and uh, I have it in this container in distilled water because I'm waiting for this sphagnum moss that's right here to sink it's it's sinking a lot better now on Monday on Saturday I put it in it's starting to go down that's what the plants are gonna root in not so much root but just they like to have that in there they like the the uh, soft water I have, I believe this is a finis. What's up? All right, one second. This is a Cryptocarania finis that I'm growing immersed in pure sphagnum moss. Right there. All right, I'm gonna stop for a minute. This is my other Cryptofinis. This is one that was not transplanted. I just took it out. It's It definitely, since Saturday, it has bent toward the light again. I'll hold it up. Maybe I should face this way. Let's see. Put it under a fluorescent light. The glare is pretty bad. There, is that better? That looks better. On the inside, and yeah, maybe this is better too. This is a mixture of it's not a mixture. This is pure sphagnum peat moss with a lot of algae in it. And I think getting close is hard to see it. Right there. Ah! Anyway, they're in my glass jars. And it's doing pretty good. I give it fertilizer about once a week. Got some algae growing on the sides, which I wipe off periodically. And I leave the, the sphagnum moist. I fill it up with the fertilizer solution and then pour it off after a couple hours and then it stays. I guess maybe I should rinse it every once in a while with some distilled water, but I don't do that, or I haven't yet. Over here is, I think this is baby tears. I picked that on uh, Saturday after the hike. I'll see if it grows. In here is the Utricularia graminifola I got from Irwin and I'm growing it semi-immersed down there on the, the area that's lit by the sun when it comes over here. Well there's sunlight there too but it's all it was covering the whole surface and now it's only over here. I don't know why. I don't want to rotate the container because I don't want to kill it. But it's growing. I had some type of uh, stem plant, I think, over here. It was up to the top of the container, about four inches tall. But I clipped it off. Don't know what it was. Let's see. Oh, it's putting out a side shoot. So maybe I will see what it is. And that's about it with this.